Hello everyone and welcome back to Geshin Impact, part 33. So, I'm going to have to talk to Land now. I ask you for a favor. I stopped accepting commissions a long time ago. Sorry you too, but you'll just have to ask another adventurer. No, we're not asking about that. In the last episode, I ha he had the annoyance of Jin Lao or whatever the hell his name is that has to give all the entire history of something when you have to oh, ask, talk it's about not it. That kind of favor. It's just a teeny tiny thing. You know, I'm how to make perfume. <laughs> wow, just wow. Do I look like the kind of girl who wears perfume to you? I think you're underestimating the kind of person I am. Well, Paimon thinks you smell amazing. So come on, Lon. What's your secret if not perfume? Now that you mention it, yes, there is something. What is that scent? Oh, it must be from the Qingxing flowers I picked on the way back. I forgot I still had them with me. Aha! The truth is out. Lon's got a soft spot for wildflowers. Uh, no. They were for medicinal use only. Anyway, this is a pointless conversation. If you want to know about perfume, try talking to Chi Mei. The fortune teller, right? Paimon remembers she smells pretty good. Thanks, Lon. See you around. I so want to just yeet Paimon everywhere. It's like, she'll just keep coming back, though. Hello. How may I help? We've come to ask you a question. You know how to make perfume? Perfume? I rarely think to use it, let alone about how to make it myself. <laughs> mm. That said, some of the cosmetics I use are scented. Perhaps that's the cause of this confusion. Mm -hmm. Since I usually set up my stall by the docks, I avoid perfume like the plague. Because Celestia forbid those lusty sailors catch a whiff and come hunting for the source. Yeah, I know. That's the worst thing Paimon's heard all day. While we're on the subject, have you never heard anyone mention Ying Ar's homemade perfume? Ying Air? Oh, as in scent of spring Ying Air? Yes, that's her. Many a rich family's daughter has gotten her to make perfume for them. Apparently, her homemade product is better than anything you'll find on the market. Great! This is just the intel we need! Finally, we're getting somewhere! Well, we're off. Excuse me. Uh, don't tell me I just got myself stuck. No. Oi. <laughs> Ow. Fuck. Damn, that hurt. Sorry for coughing in all your ears, but I had to cough because otherwise it would have just itched my throat forever. Well, hello. You found me at last. I've been waiting for you. Uh huh. What? How did you know we were coming? Oh, I heard a rumor about a couple who were snooping around town looking for a sweet smelling lady. Actually, I was starting to worry you wouldn't find me. This is the ultimate test of my appeal, after all. Snooping around? Why are you making it out like we're bad people? What can I say? People love to talk. Maybe you ought to be more discreet in the future if you don't want word to get around. Relax. I know why you're here. You want to get your hand on my homemade perfume, don't you? What kind would you like? Three in one go. My goodness. You have extreme tastes for someone your age. Maybe the rumors I heard were true after all. You're on the prowl and need some sweet-smelling ammunition? Is that it? Rex Lapis. Is that the best you could come up with? 
Even if you were genuinely offering perfume to a deity, that doesn't explain why you'd need three kinds. Sorry, your story just doesn't hold water. Zhang Li was right. People don't remember this tradition anymore. As one of my favorite poems goes, O oh, cherry tree, begrudge not thy blossoms as they are deflowered in the spring, for come winter, even thy sturdiest wood shall wither. That went over Paimon's head a little. My god, does everybody in this town have to spew undescribed walls of fucking text? Ugh. <laughs> In short, I'm happy to help. Traveler, you can be my assistant. But you'd better make sure I'm the only person on your mind while you're hanging around with me. Uh. So, where is a good place for making sweet, sweet perfume? You to... mean Wan Mean Restaurant? Good choice. Let's go. I've had a word with Chef Mao. We can start work now. Are you ready to please me? Mmm, phrasing. What did you say? I meant make me proud, as my assistant, obviously. While I'm setting up, you can go and fetch some water. God. How is the water in here? There it is. Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Overeaten. This water will do nicely. Now, I need you to extract the silk flower essence using a crafting bench. Perfume making uses an altogether different technique from alchemy. Here, let me teach you. Very carefully, take hold of the mortar and pestle. Gently does it. You need to keep your wrist firm so your hand doesn't slip. Mm. Now use your strong hand to stir it with a persistent rhythm. Keep going until the juices start to come out. Mm. Ooh, you're a natural, like a fish to water. Mm. Now take these and try it out on your own using a nearby crafting bench. Don't forget to do all three. They look visually identical during the essence extraction process, but I will put them into separate containers when the perfume is ready. God, this lady with her phrasing. Is there anybody that gets a bonus? No. Crap. This is some exquisite silk flower essence. On to the next stage, the most important one of all. The essence is placed into water and simmered over a low heat until most of the water has boiled off. You must take care to control the heat during this process. If the temperature goes too high, it will affect the scent. So please focus on controlling the heat. This is the final step. Don't waste a drop of that essence now. We want all of it in there. Mm. All three perfumes are ready. And you, my friend, were a wonderful assistant. A testament to the lengths you will go to for romance. It's so rare to see nowadays. I told you it's not like that. Anyway, 
Shall I give you a brief overview of each scent? It might just help you match the right scent to the right occasion. Paima wants to hear this. This first one is sweet as candy, straight out of a fairy tale. Younger women will love it. Uh, God. Why do they have to put the fucking molar texts in this? The second one is for those with more refined tastes, the first choice for daughters of high society. Finally, the third one has a soft but lingering scent, like a mist that captures the last light of dusk. Mature women adore this one. All clear? Don't get them mixed up now. You'll ruin the mood. I think I got it. Can we move Good. on? Be sure to come visit if you ever need help with anything, okay? I'll leave you with some parting words. One who tries to sail three boats simultaneously should be careful not to go overboard. <laughs> come and hang out with me at Scent of Spring sometime, okay? Let's take these three perfumes over to the Statue of the Seven. Mr. Zhongli's probably been waiting a while. Right? My god, that... My god, that woman. Did we take too long? You were just staring up at the statue. Uh, oh, you're back. Don't worry, I haven't waited long. Compared to the watch that Rex Lapis's statues have kept over Liu, this was but a brief moment. <laughs> well, how can a person compete with a statue? That is true. Well, have you brought the perfumes? Three sets, and not one less. Thank you both. Let us offer them up. This is the first kind of perfume. Miss Yinger said that it's sweet as a dream, and it's liked by younger ladies. This is the second kind. It's got an elegant smell, and the daughters of high society love it. The third kind has a gentle but lingering fragrance. Something, something like the dusk mist. And it's a favorite of mature ladies. Oh, what was that? It looks like Rex Lapis really likes this one. That's the one older ladies like, right? Does that mean that Rex Lapis is actually an older lady? Oh, God, I think I know who Rex Lapis is. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Rex Lapis has taken on countless forms. Perhaps that really was one of them. What a shame. We only got to see the giant dragon form, and... <sighs> Let's hope the Chi-Sing can catch the real killer. We can leave that to the authorities. Let us focus on the fond farewell for Rex Lapis. I think I know so, who Rex Lapis is now. another step in our preparations. What's next? Next, I would like the two of you to help me borrow the cleansing bell. Cleansing bell? At present, a friend of mine named Madam Ping is the guardian of the Cleansing Bell. She lives near Yujing Terrace. If you ask her, she will know what to do. Sure, but aren't you going to come with us? Ah, I have certain reasons why I cannot be there in person. Please, do this for me. Man, why has he got to be so secretive this time? Okay, so first off, let's claim the little bit that we did here. Nothing there. So, where is she? Where is her face here? A blade embraces. So, for mature woman, she was at the um thing, so she has to be um Rex Lapis in the form. Okay, 
why don't I just teleport? Jeez. Being such a dumbass. That's what, instead of running all the way there, why don't I just freaking teleport? Right? Now we go up. Madam Ping. <sighs> All things must change. How do you do? Hmm. Youngster, are you here to admire the flowers? Ah, uh, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have almost all wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, people said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. I don't they think are he's dead. everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark, and the fire will consume us all. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. <laughs> Did you have something to say, youngster? Uh, we would like to borrow the cleansing bell. Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but I've grown old. <laughs> I can't quite recall where it is exactly. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person back when I was young. He saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh. These old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. I'm the Knights of Vonius um, Certified Lost Property Finder. What a weird thing to be proud of. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Whoa, but this is Eugene Terrace. It's got to be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. How does that work? What? There's no way Paimon would fit in there. And why do you need Paimon to go in anyway? Can't you just lift the lid and look inside? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. This granny is so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us? Get sucked into a domain.
Danny's Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you children. Please help an old lady clean up. I guess the thing's dead now. Tempting it. I'm more and more convinced that she's an adeptus. But don't they all live in Jillian Cars? Why would she stay in the city? all of a sudden. So keep getting frozen solid. Uh, you keep hitting me for it.
Burn up the... Burn them up! Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me see. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. Hey, how do we leave? I'm making sure there's no chest. Okay, there's no chest here. Uh. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. An adeptus. Oh. I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child. Surely you already understand? Ah. Uh, Hyman kinda knows what you mean. But is also kinda confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Leoa Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? If your friend doesn't return it. Oh? Well, if it came to that... <laughs> They would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. Race you. Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Do you know Madam Ping? Of course. How would I know that the bell was with her otherwise? That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, 
Her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. I hope this schmuckle brings his wallet this time. Okay, that should have given us some level up books. That's a little bit too little for EXP for me to give it out. So let's come over here to Sucrose and level up Sucrose. <laughs> Oh, there's a cat. Yeah. It just dodges all your attacks, the perfect parry. Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. Fashion, economics, jewelry, and jade pottery. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else, but there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before! Shh. Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once... <sighs> Yes. These details are masterfully done. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. 
As for the payment... As for the payment, he says. Well, allow me. Hey, it's Child! Did you arrange to meet here? <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. Mm -hmm. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money, and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps, you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. Mm -hmm. The right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. Okay, so we have to find people now. Let me tell you how Should I Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. The brave adventurer we have need of five crystal flies. That's, that's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. A pleasure doing business with you. Okay, what do you want? A full day of odd jobs at Yujing Terrace. Hmm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. Hey, let's talk prices. Let's do 10,000 Mora. That's too little. Hardly a fair price. Okay, 15,000 Mora. That's too little. Hardly a fair price. Well, why don't you stop being such a dick about it? 16,000 Mora. This is too little. I'd consider it if it was a bit higher. 17,000 Mora. This price will do. No loss to me for a day's work. Fuck you, buddy! Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Yujing Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. Fetch me 50 tree branches and 20 stacks of timber. No problem. That'll be 20,000 Mora for a single trip. How does that sound? Done. Ugh, we brought too little money. This is all you got? Then no can do. Child? Uh, no, no, no. He's putting up the money? Thou still no. 
Th th wouldn't that mean I have to make two trips rather than one? How about this? Let's make a trade. I'll take what you're offering right now, and get me a single chinksen flower, and I'll consider that payment for a detour to find this child fellow. Guess we've got no choice. Have you brought the goods? Hey, that's pretty good. These things are pretty rare, and I have no idea where I'd find them. With this chinksen flower, I should be able to pacify my daughter tonight. I'll make sure the work is done before I return home. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? No. Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? What else could the Fatui want? Yikes! You're right, Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. You think? How oh, fucking far is the pharmacy? Damn, all the way over there. Okay, um... Completed the quest. Okay, so Sucre is going to be the next one that we... Dump all of that into. Mm. I do have a question here. When can I upgrade? Adventure rank needs to be 30 to ascent. Jesus, that's a lot of stamina to recover. Pharmacy. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? Probably someone extremely short behind the desk. The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out, and Paimon will bring up the rear. I'm a little short there to be behind the reception oh, desk, aren't you? Oh, you are. But you can't even reach the counter. Is she a zombie? Um, yeah, if you're going to talk about height. on you. Paimon floats, so height is no restriction. Mm-hmm. Anyway, there's something weird about this one over here. What's the talisman doing on her forehead? It can't be. She's... A zombie? Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. 
Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Uh, such a nonchalant delivery for a bombshell revelation. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine, but only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Uh, orders? Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi-Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only fair. Since when do customers need to do favors for customer service staff? Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Hunt the what in the... <laughs> and with the witch at where? <laughs> hmm. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. It's a kind of crossbow turret installed on Mount Chinhung by an adeptus in the distant past. An early mechanical device. Located in Chinhung Pass, it was designed to automatically fire at large monsters, protecting Liyue from external threats. Mr. Zhang Li really knows Liyue inside out. Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal, an adepta beast. Did you want to add anything else, or...? No, just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An Adepta Beast. What it looks like. Don't know. Where to find it? Don't know either. Where it came from? Also don't know. You tell us if you remember anything else you don't remember. Very well then. Let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista. Perhaps we will find some clues. <sighs> what the heck is a coca goat? Luckily, I probably have all these um damn things, um damn warp locations opened up. Thankfully. Geronimo! Wait, where is that? It popped up, where is it? So it's inside here. Oh. Ow. Ow. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go down here and uh Quick. Thank you. 
Okay, drop down. Drop. Okay, let's uh... I missed! Alright, now we can just, uh, pull it right back over to do what we were originally going to do. Okay, so, how are we supposed to get in here? Maybe just, put that on fire? Um, I'm not going to continue on with this area here. Gotta go on to the main story. It's kind of broken here. It's huge! Paimon can totally believe it took an adeptus to build this. But how do you operate this thing? Just think how much strength you would need. Hmm. It is currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Aw, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. Mm-hmm, you say that. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge powers! Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on demand. Mm -hmm. That said, let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built, in case it was damaged in battle. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside the pass. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic working principles of the device. So... what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principles? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to wrap it up for this episode. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's going to help out my channel. I know I keep saying this all the time. It's really going to help out. And I hope you guys enjoy the content. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.